Hey everyone, Fatty from Pack a Punch Traders here. Gonna make a quick video going over the top plays of the day today and just see what we could learn from them. So we got GOV G O E V solid push, recent mover. Um pretty sure on some good news, contract news. Here we are. Or was that today? One second. I didn't trade this. US Army. Yes, that was today. And there was a price target from 1720. Okay. So, um, some good news here. Only thing that really kept me away from this was the massive float and market cap. But with such good news, as we can see, the volume was insane. And combining that with it being a recent spiker and failing to break down here, you know, you got shorts trapped in this, could definitely fuel this move here. So it could set up for another breakout. Not another breakout for the breakout. This is just a nice bounce, retesting the bounce, retesting the highs of the other day. But what was crucial here is the volume. If it didn't have this volume, I doubt it would have even gotten close to five. Um, and as you can see, the way this moves much differently than these low float, low market cap plays. This did offer 20% or more within an hour hour and a half um but it was kind of choppy you have some back and forth action here you really have to be patient and stick to the trend and that is i guess as usual the takeaway keep an eye on the volume the trend holding key levels as we can see this failed to break down double bottom reclaimed vwap and the open price and then from there you could have also traded it as a pre-market high break when that area failed to break down and it kept holding trend. Um, so just keep it simple. That's really all it is. Um, another good example, KSPN, just following the trend. This is a multi-day bounce play. I took this play. I mapped out everything in a, another video lesson, so you can just check that out. But here we are. You keep sticking to the trend. Volume keeps coming in. Low float, low market cap, offers a solid bounce. A little bit of a different pattern here as this one took off from 2 to 10 within a couple of days. And we got massive selling here. Solid pullback well off the highs when it failed to really break down. And that led to short covering, locking in their profits. And, you know, not all multi-day bounces are going to take off like this. Let's keep that in mind. The average is 30%. KSPN or whatever it was. Yeah, KSPN did offer a little bit over 40%. But here on the other hand, we have PLRX, and this one's barely up 10% on the day now. So, not the same thing, but what I kind of attribute this to is no real selling going on here. This could lead to a nice breakout, but with the bounce play, this did spike enough, and it did fade a bit. Um, there just really wasn't enough selling here, um, many shorts trapped in this I think that could have got squeezed today when the bounce is happening when it failed to break down and shorts are locking in profits buyers are coming back and joining the party if there's not enough shorts in it already to fuel that it it might not take off as much as you think and as we can see with KSPN the other day it had massive selling here on this day and it had a red day yesterday, but I saw that as um, as a trigger for a possible bottom as the selling pretty much died. There's just no more volume. And now that we're getting close to four and a half, I thought that would hold. Hold dollar, half dollar. Ended up holding at four. Um, offered a nice bounce here, but that's really all it is. Stick to the trend. Stick to your pattern. Um, what else we got here? GLSI. This one was out of the watch list. Pretty weak. It did do what I wanted, what I wanted, but pretty weak play. No volume. Can't sustain itself. Low float, but not enough volume there to really take it off. As you can see here, there's just no volume. And without volume, don't expect much action to either side. Um... <clears throat> There was a great play, SVRE. This was a great call. Mapped it out in a video lesson last night, going over the top plays. I was just looking for a third day surge here. I kind of ignored this first day. There wasn't, wasn't really any volume, so I considered this the first day. And here's that second. And 
I was looking for a hold of the 320s, 330 area. Mapped that out. If it could hold around these highs where there might be some resistance, if it confirmed that area and get some more volume, some more buying back, it could trigger a squeeze back to the highs. And that's exactly what happened. It went off a little further than expected, but it was just beautiful. Here we are, and here's the play SPRV. The volume comes back, this could be a nice squeeze back to the high, and you'd be getting in here. And once again, what are we talking about? Float, um, well, I'm pretty sure this was low flow, it just doesn't show it here. Uh, we got the trend holding key levels that we're looking at, and there wasn't a whole ton of volume early on, but you know there was enough to show some action. Definitely a bit more of a bump compared to yesterday. So if you just keep it in mind, this relative to what it's doing, you got this trend, and then shorts just get squeezed. The volume gets exhausted here. People get either bagged, some latecomers, or you know just some last gasp shorts getting out um, that are hanging in there. So that's kind of the day today. I had a good trade KSPN. Once again, check another video out, the one I posted right before this. Um, besides that, hope this was useful. Uh, keeping it simple is really the lesson. Just follow the trend, volume, float. Make sure it's a pattern that you know how to trade, as that was beneficial with KSPN. I didn't hang in there. I knew it would move 30% as they typically do. And I guess can't say I knew. I was leaning towards it moving that much, having that bias, and you know, I got out for 15% gain. Can't complain. I guess I'm just explaining it here. <laughs> Took it from 475 to 547. When this failed to break down, started reclaiming VWAP, volume came back. Completely different story than what it was yesterday here, and figured we would get a solid bounce. I thought we'd get to the 580s, 6 ish area. And once I saw a little bit of a hard time here, and I had some decent size, so I just locked it in and left a bit on the table, but can't complain. Uh, first day back trading in a month, pretty much, so made about 1100 or so. First day back, can't complain about that. So let's just study up and get ready to wrap this week up and finish strong. Hope this was useful. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel. Check us out on Twitter at Pack of Punch Traders. Have a great day, everyone.